I'm going to do a very quick demo of creating an IaaS scan on AppScan on Cloud. So like the other scans, you're taken through a wizard, so I select I asked, and I have two options. I can download the agent with an embedded key for easy deployment or just get a new key. My other option is to say that this agent should always uh, keep a license, even if it gets disconnected. So here I am, I've done all the defaults, and it is now going to download that pre-configured agent to my desktop. So now it's created the scan, and my next step is to deploy that agent to my web server. So here you see I've got that download. And now I'll, I've unzipped the download. I'm going to take this war file, and I just need to copy it to the right directory. So I'm going to easily put it at the root of my downloads just for easy path uh, in my copy command. So I've got um, my web server running here in a Docker container. It's the Altura J application. So here I am in a terminal, and you can see if I look at the Tomcat web apps directory, you can see I have Altura J there. So now I'm going to go back to the terminal on my local machine, and with a simple Docker copy command, I'm going to move that agent into the Tomcat directory. So here, so you see it's live, there is the IOS agent. So it's as simple as that, a drag and drop deployment. So now I'll jump over to my Altura Mutual application. And this is the server which that agent is monitoring. So as I take action here, it is in zero time monitoring this testing for vulnerabilities. Going back to ASOC, you can see that the agent is showing green connected so now let's go and take a few more manual steps in this application. I'm showing this all to you, both the deployment and the testing manually, but this can all be done and integrated into your DevOps pipelines through our APIs and our integrations. You can see in just that little bit of exercising the app, the IOS has identified six issues. So now if I go into the details of an issue, you can see for IAST, it's showing me both the URL of the request similar to DAST, as well as the sources and sinks that get reported from static testing.